Hey, what's up, box heads? How y'all doing? What's up, fireman? Can y'all hear me? Let me get a thumbs up if y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Yes? Okay, that's good. Thanks, Tam. How y'all doing tonight? Tonight I decided to jump on. We can hear you. Okay, that's good. Tonight I decided that anytime I get a whole bunch of messages um, in my DM about the same thing, I was like to jump on and do a quick live to answer some questions. Um, see if y'all have any questions about Amazon, the 180 day rule. Um, you know, if that makes sense. So y'all go ahead and what's going on, JM Trucking? Drop some questions if y'all got some questions. But while y'all doing that, I want to explain to you guys that I do have a um, a lot of people been hitting me up about my flash sale and the sales that I've have going on, and um, my mentorship class, my master class. So that's kind of like briefly what I wanted to discuss tonight as well. Anybody in here still want? To, anybody in here wanting to start a logistics company that they haven't already? Someone said I just applied. For Amazon Relay, how long does it take to get approval? Well, Amazon Relay right now, I think of March 3rd, March 4th, they basically changed their rules. So it takes about 180 days to get on with Amazon um, Relay right now. So, um, but in that 180 days, what you can do is you can hit the dat low board, you can lease on the people. So what I'm doing is also in my master class, I don't know if y'all know, I got a master class right now, which is a flash sale is $9.99. Um, for the people in my master class that join my master class, which is June 10th, I'm trying to pair you with somebody that you can run under their authority for the first 180 days. Um, so you can, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want to do the dad low board, you can actually run, you know what I'm saying, under somebody's authority. Someone says, someone said, I got your program, but I'm trying to build up cash. Okay. And you got to think about it now, too, even if you have to wait. Um, you know what I'm saying? To get on with it, you got to think about this too. In six months, what we in May, um, that'll be like what October ish. Um, you'll actually be coming in right around peak season. And someone said, How much on average are you grossing per truck? Well, if you look at my post that I post today, I put I made a post today in the month of March. Um, I had five trucks running hard, um, and I grossed $125,000. And that's with doing Amazon and doing a couple that low boy loads as well. Um, so it depends on how much you gross with a truck. It's kind of hard to say. And then last month, um, the month of April, I dropped down to three trucks, four trucks, had a couple trucks in the shop, um, and a couple drivers needed, you know, some time off. So with that month, I made up $72,000 for that month. But combined in the last two months, if you do an average, that's $197,000 that I gross with a truck. So it just depends. You know what I'm saying? Some people can make $600 a day with a truck. Some people can make $1,000 a day with a truck. Some people can make $1,200 with a truck. So it's no, you know what I'm saying, set number. It depends on how hard you grind, how hard you moving, how many loads you book, booking, if that makes sense. Let's see what else somebody said. How much are you grossing per truck? I saw that one. How selective is Amazon being? How selective is Amazon being after the 100? After the 180 days, after your authority is 180 days, you're good to go. You can get on with Amazon. But like I said, I tell people, don't let that deter you that 180 days. 180 days will be here before you know it. Like if you think back about it, New Year's Eve, it just seemed like it was like a month and a half ago. Now we're already in, almost in the middle of May. You know what I'm saying? So 180 days will fly by. Also, in my master class, too, I will show you how to wait for people that don't want to, you know what I'm saying, um, that don't want to drive or don't want to do the that low board. I'll show you how to do an um, insurance hack where your insurance won't be sky high uh, for the 180 days. But like I said, you can lease on. You can do the that low board. There's a lot of ways to make money with the box truck in 180 days. And a truck. Somebody said, is it actually better to start off renting a truck or leasing a truck? Most uh, reputable companies or big companies are not going to lease to you if you haven't been in the business for over two years. So that's when I even came into the game. I started about leasing because leasing is a little bit cheaper. But if you can find somebody that you can lease with, then that's a great idea. Leasing is always better than renting. 
Um, however, mo like I said, most companies won't let you lease on until you have like two years of, you know, run it, been in business at least two years. Uh, yeah. So someone said, if you run into someone else's authority, do you have to have their logo on your truck? You don't have to have their logo, but you got to have the DOT and the MC number on the side of your truck to run under somebody's authority. And a normal average is usually like 10%. So like I said, anybody that takes my master class, which is on flash sale right now, is $9.99. It starts at 12 o'clock on June 10th. Um, it comes, if you don't already have the ultimate bundle pack guide, it comes with the ultimate bundle pack guide and it's like a four hour class, four or five hours. Um, and we go through everything from A to Z. We lay out everything to you. We're going to have my compliance officer on here as well, Rhonda, uh, trucker Rhonda, and we're going to cover every single thing. So if you leave this class, you're going to leave this class, uh, uh, expert in Amazon relay. And we're going to cover the dat load board. We're going to cover the ELD. We're going to cover gas cards. Pretty much, it's like an accelerated mentorship class, um, June 10th, June, yeah, June 10th, if that makes sense. So, And we're going to cover how to lease on with people as well. And like I said, the people that join my class, um, I'm going to find you somebody to lease on to for the 180 days. That class is $9.99 right now. You can uh, reserve your slot for $500. And then in another two weeks, pay another $500 and you in. And it's limited slot, so don't wait till the last minute. I know how people are; they like to wait till the last minute. Once the uh, mentorship, you know, fill up, that's it. Yeah, someone says you pick up your pallets or boxes. Uh, with Amazon, you're going to have to pick your own. Um, if it's going to another Amazon facility, then they'll pack the truck for you. However, if you go into a post office, then you got to load your own truck. Uh, with the DAT load board, you don't have to own your, load your own truck. There is no touch freight. Someone said, how do you get my, you get your authority? Um, tap in with me. I got a person, like I said, um, or if you're new to this, I would not do your own authority. Grab my ultimate bundle pack guide, which is on sale right now, also for $249. That's all three of my guides. It comes with my third-party contact. It comes with um, all my, also all my referrals. So someone says, if you run into someone else's store, will I be placed under their insurance? Yes, you will. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have an insurance. I got a broker and I also do 30 and 60 minute consultations for some people that's, you know, they don't know if they really want to get into the um, the logistics game. And before they jump in, like I made a post the other day, a lot of people jumped into this industry, especially logistics, because they saw how much money I made, how much money other people make. And what they did was they go to my YouTube, they go to my, um, you know, they watched a couple of my videos and they tried to start their company. And when they didn't get the same exact success rate, they were like, oh, I tried the rental route. I tried this. If you tried anything and you haven't, like I said, tapped in with me or tapped in with somebody that's doing it and you failed, you really didn't fail. I mean, you can't blame nobody but yourself because if you're paying, like I said, if you're paying over $600 for a rental truck, you're paying too much, especially if you didn't tap in with somebody that can get you a rental rate for $500. It's too easy to spend $100 get uh, book a 30 minute consultation and get whatever information you need. Even if you can't afford to get a mentorship, stop listening to people. Stop looking at YouTube. Remember I said, if you have five different uh, perspectives and it's like trying to bake a cake with five different perspectives, this person saying this, this person saying this, this person saying that, get one person and tap in with that person and pay for a consultation. $99 to change your life. Look at the reviews. Um, I, I help people with insurance. Anything you need is all about referrals and how much you're paying. If you're paying too much for a truck, you're going to be out of business soon. If you're paying too much for insurance, you're going to be out of soon. So if you think you're just going to call an insurance company and get a good rate, it, you normally don't work like that. So it's always about the information. A lot of people want to skip over the information. They think information is free. Yes, certain information is free, but good information is, is always, it's like a hookup, you know what I'm saying? Like I can show you how to get a discounted rate. I can show you how to get a gas card, ED, ELDs. Everything you need is already in one spot. Someone said, do you know how to get to USB work as owner operator? Now, I don't know nothing about the United States uh, Postal Service. Nope. Uh, someone said, well, you run the Zoom class every month. And my mentorship, my mentorship, uh, are you talking about the master class logistics power for us? Um, right now, I don't know how many, you know, master classes I'm going to do. The goal is to do it like once every, you know, couple months, um, to do it because, you know, the summertime's coming up, people gonna get busy. I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be traveling. Um, so I don't know when my next class will be. I just know that right now my next class is uh June 10th. I put it out far enough for, you know, people that want to get on to get on. And like I said, that master class comes with the, uh, my bundle pack guy, if you already have it, um, 
And what I'm going to do for people that already do have my bundle pack guide um, on this live, if you decide that you do want to get in and you already bought my bundle pack guide, I'm going to let you guys get into the masterclass for just $750. So if you already bought my bundle pack guide and you want to get into the masterclass already, because remember, I'm giving in the map, um, part of the bundle. I can let you get in the class for 750. So just contact me, DM me that you, you know, purchase my bundle pack guide already. Um, and I'll let you in the class for six, uh, 750. Someone said, is it a way I can pay the insurance and maintain my third facility? Yeah, it is. And I got a way, uh, a fireman, I got a cheap way that you can do it without paying that full, you know what I'm saying? Commercial. Cause you know, if you get a commercial, um, insurance, it's not cheap. It's about 1300 to $1,500 per truck on average. So I can show you a cheaper way that you can get your authority active where you don't physically have to pay all of that money every month if you don't plan to do the DAT load board or run any loads. So I got a hack. I got an insurance agent that's already familiar with the process of trying to get you set up and switch everything in 180 days. Um, someone said, what's the point of the 180 days? Do you still have to pay insurance monthly even if you're not running the truck or instant just waiting for 100? Yeah, you still do have to pay the insurance for your authority to be active um, for the 180 days for what Amazon is asking for. But remember, in the 180 days, you could do the DAT load board, which means you have to have the insurance, the full insurance. Then there's also a hack where I can show you how to get it cheaper if you don't plan to drive that truck or don't plan to do any loads. Then you can also do lease on to somebody. Leasing on is a ton of people on, you know, that's doing Amazon. On our average, it's 10% to lease on. Like I said, anybody that do my masterclass, if you want to lease on somebody, I can hook you up with somebody that you can lease on with in the masterclass. Um, that you can run your truck for the 180 days. When your 180 days is up, then you can jump out and do your own thing. Someone says, how is Amazon loads in comparison with the struggling truck industry? To me, Amazon is totally different from what happens on the outside of the DAT load board. Um, or what's, what's happening with semis right now. Amazon got their own stuff. So Amazon is really not affected by like what's going on with the DAT load board and the low, lower paying rates with the DAT load board. The DAT load board... Um, Semis is a little bit different. Like I said, look at my post today. I made last month, I made $125,000 gross, $125,000 with five trucks. Uh, last month um, in April, I did $72,000. So, and that's gross. And like I said, that's with three, uh, with three and four trucks for the month. So to me, I ain't missing a beat. You know what I'm saying? And you also got to know how to book loads. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to stop listening to people that really ain't doing what they say they doing or really not, you know what I'm saying, in the industry and don't really know how to do it. I came into the game with a different set of eyes and that's like running a truck from an owner standpoint. Nothing wrong with nobody that want to drive a truck, but I'm into the passive making money uh, business of showing people how to make money passively that want to keep their job. All you got to do is scale up, get you some rental trucks um, and hit the road running. You know what I'm saying? So someone says, does your... Bundle pack guide tell us how to acquire a truck, the right truck. Thanks. Yes. My bundle pack guide, the ultimate bundle pack is on sale right now for two forty nine. dollars If you can't afford to get the class, the master class is, is on sale for two forty nine. dollars It normally was four ninety nine, And, you know, I wanted to help people, so I discounted it to two forty nine dollars flash sale till I think till Saturday. I'm going to leave it to two forty nine. dollars After two forty nine, dollars it's going to go back up to its regular price. But it's two forty nine dollars right now, and it comes with my step one step. Um, starter pack guide which shows you how to get up and run in the correct way with Amazon. Then in step two shows you how to book loads with Amazon, how to find the best load, how to scale your company, how to pay your drivers. Um, and then step three shows you how to dispatch a uh, um, truck to back and forth with Amazon because a lot of people think that when you do an Amazon, you can't do the DAT load board as well. You could do both of them. Or for people that want to do the 180 days, it shows you how to do the DAT load board. And also, if you just want to do the DAT load board and you want to dispatch for somebody, um, I have the, my dispatcher guide on sale right now too, is a flash sale for $99. So anybody that want to dispatch, they want to stack up some money so they can start their trucking company come, um, you know what I'm saying? Peak season, grab my, um, dispatching guide is $99. Normally it's $199. Um, you can go grab it on my website in my bio and it'll show you how to dispatch your truck. It'll show you how to survive the 180 days. Um, and, you know, dispatching is also the cheapest way to get into the logistics. It's like a gateway. I look at people like you can start off dispatching, stack up enough money to start your trucking company, and you can still dispatch, dispatch your own trucks along with the Amazon low board. Um, it's a lot of money to be made in um, trucking, you know, a lot of money to be made in trucking. 
Someone said, what about the cargo vans and sprinters? Can you help me with that? No, I'm not. I don't know nothing about cargo vans and sprinters. I wish I did. I need to get it. I need to tap into that. Yeah, like Smitty said, yes, sir. Invest in yourself. You got to invest in yourself. I think, I, yeah, Smitty, I talked to you. I had a consultation with you. Yeah, you got to invest in yourself. You got to stop thinking that you can figure all of this out on your own. Like that, that that mentality of thinking that you don't have to pay for nothing is crazy to me because people pay to go to college. People go to CDL. You go to hair school, nursing. Everything costs. You know, free is expensive in the long run. What's the average insurance uh, rate? Um, on average, what's your name? I, Amy Suster. Um, on average, I've been seeing about thirteen hundred to fifteen hundred. However, I talked to a guy today. I don't know if he's even on my live. He his his came in at eight hundred dollars. He's in Dallas, Texas. Um, that might be him on here. I can't remember. I know I had a consultation today, and somebody had a, a quote for eight hundred dollars. That's dirt cheap. But on average, between thirteen and fifteen hundred. Um, anything under thirteen hundred is considered good. When I first started in the game, mine was thirteen seventy five. Um, for the first year, then the second year it dropped down to a thousand seventy five, and then recently I just renewed, going into you know my third renewal, and mine's dropped down to seven hundred and eighty bucks, yeah, seven eighty or seven eighty five a month per truck, which is pretty good. So I'm I'm happy as hell to be down to the seven hundred and eighty. You know, the longer you be with them, it's just like a, a car insurance. When you first start off, you high risk, and if you go through it without no accidents or anything like that, it goes down every year. Someone says, is Amazon still to get in right now? And when everybody asks me this question, I'm going to keep referring back to go back and look at my posts I made today. In the last two months, I grossed $197,000 with Amazon Relay. And of course, I did a couple of the dat low boys, but Amazon was my primary breadwinner. So of course, it's good. $197,000 gross. Of course, that's not net. However, think about it. Imagine how much I net. So it's, it's, it's really good to get into Amazon right now. Someone said, are you open to someone shadow you in person? Fireman, not really shadow me in person because to be honest with you, when I wake up in the morning, I literally spend less than 30 minutes a day running my whole company. So it's nothing to shadow. If you was to shadow me, you would see me wake up in the morning, take a tub, go to the mall, you know, pick my son up, take him to swim, swim in practice. So it's nothing really to shadow in the daytime. I take consultations in the daytime. And um, right now I'm also getting back into real estate. So it's nothing really to shadow, but I can show you any and everything you want virtually. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what my master class is. So if you join my master class, that's where you will actually get the you know the best benefit. You just don't want to sit around and see me do nothing all day. Um, someone said it's Amazon, OTR, local, or both. Amazon is you could do Amazon is both. Amazon you could do local, you could do short runs like thirty. The shorter the run with Amazon, the more it pay. You could do short runs, you could do local. Or Amazon got loads that go cross country with a box truck. Um, so it's up to you. Uh, someone says uniquely Alexandria. Yep, you have to invest in yourself. It will pay off eventually. That I, what's up, Alexandria? She's one of my um, people. I I've been helping out a lot. Um, just been helping out a lot. She's about to start making some money too, just by having people lease on to her authority. So, and she's one that she did a consultation, and she can she can attest that it, it is. That that ninety nine dollars that she spent was well worth the the uh, consultation. We done figured out her, got her on track. Um, so she about to start making some money, and I'm proud of her. Is it, is it somebody said? Is it the best to finance then rent? No, it's best to rent a truck than finance. Think about this, like I always say in my 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 reels. You, just because a female is pretty, you don't want to marry her on the first date. You definitely want to try it out. A lot of people. Sell you that you need to buy a truck. Yes, buying a truck is a lot cheaper than renting a truck. However, if you don't have the capital to fix that truck, if that truck breaks, don't buy a truck. If you ain't got ten or fifteen thousand dollars on a credit card, line of credit, or just sitting aside after you already purchased your truck, I would not purchase a truck coming out the gate. It's very expensive to maintain a truck if you don't have that maintenance or you don't have you know money setting aside. So rent the truck, right? You don't have to pay for maintenance. You don't have to pay for nothing on a truck. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but the truck pays for itself going forward. So once you make joke, like once I made my 3300 initial deposit, I paid $200 for my LT, $680 for my authority, $1,375 for my insurance down payment, and $1,000. I paid like $3,200, $3,300. I've never had to come back out of my pocket to fund my company. The company made money going enough to, you know what I'm saying, to sustain itself. So your truck should make enough money to pay your drivers every month, your rental rate, the gas, the fuel, the insurance. So let's just say you do it for two or three months. You like it. 
guess what? You can go buy a truck. All you do is go buy a truck. You got the money stacked up. Now, instead, of, all you got to do is just swap the vendor on your insurance. And now you own a truck. Then guess what? A lot of people think if you own a truck that you can't buy on rent trucks. Why not? Who going to turn out free money? If you renting a truck and you still making money off of somebody else's money or somebody else's equipment, why not? You know what I'm saying? So I would definitely tell people to rent starting off. Because once you purchase a truck, we're not in the pandemic no more. If you purchase a truck for 40 grand, after a month, that truck ain't going to be worth 40 grand no more. You can't just, you know, sell it like at a crazy, ridiculous price like um, when we was in the pandemic. Someone said, not sure where you're at, but all this works for California. Yes, it does. I've helped tons of people in California, New York, Texas. Um, pretty much I haven't. Let's like, you know, states where nobody really live in. Like, you know, I ain't going to say weird states, but like. Montana and stuff like that, but I've helped people pretty much nationwide. In Florida, I'm, I'm familiar with the Fort, Fort Myers area, Orlando area. Actually, I got a mentee in town right now. He's in the, I want to say he's in the Orlando area. He's in town. One of my mentees is down here doing his training. Um, he's in the Orlando area. He was doing it with semis, but he about to get into the box truck. And I know Tampa and Jacksonville is good also with Amazon. I, OTR, I mean, um, the Dat Low board, not so much. Um, someone said medical car cargo manager. This is a good hustle or passive income also. Yeah. Well, cargoes. Yeah, I heard about that too. I just ain't never got into it about someone said, how's the Virginia area? The Virginia area is pretty good too. I don't know if y'all know, but my cousin, um, he started the end of January. He's like one of the last people to get in. He started off Lilywell one truck and now he has four trucks and he's in the Maryland area and he's been working at his job for 17, 18 years. I ain't gonna say what he do, but he got a real, you know, good government job. And this is what he's using to supplement his income as well. So he literally started with one truck and already has four trucks. Um, that's awesome. Yep. To, did Amazon raise the grade scale to 98? It's been at 98, 98 for a. Yep. And Miss Alejandra said he's very knowledgeable, everyone. He has helped me out and still helping me. Get that consultation. You won't be disappointed. Trust me. Exactly. Yep, we going we gonna, she's gonna be my success story, and once once she tells her story, her testimony is gonna shock the world because she been through a lot. But we are gonna definitely get her right, definitely get her right. And I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, but like I said, I just got on here. Um, she said, "Hey, I'm here to support y'all. Let y'all know that he's the real deal. No emails or anything. Get that consult, and you will not be disappointed." That's right. Yep. And. So I'm not going to keep y'all on here all night on the live. I'm going to answer a couple more questions. And because I'm going to get off, I got to go make a quick run. I got to go to the um, Amazon facility to meet my um, mentee tonight. But um, I got on here. Remember, I said I appreciate the knowledge. Dealing with that now. Someone said dealing with that now. Exactly. Um, yeah, so start making these people, like I said, show y'all receipts, man. If they make your money in the industry, make them show y'all some money. Um, I post a lot of receipts. I post a lot of loads. I post a lot of my accomplishments. Um, I did 16 years in corporate America and this, this trucking industry has changed my life. You know, I was doing real estate, real estate made a lot of money, but ain't nothing like having the money coming, um, from Amazon. It will change your life. If you get obsessed with it and learn everything you can become a nerd, I guarantee you'll be successful in it. The people that's making money with Amazon Relay right now, just in the box script game, they really ain't saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, like if you go, some people make a comment like, why are you telling everybody? You messing it up for everybody. There's enough money out here for everybody, you know? So what do you think about logistics business in New Jersey? The New Jersey tri-state area is really good. New Jersey, New York, uh, the D.C., Maryland area, all of that's pretty good when it comes to logistics. If you know what you're looking for and you know how to book loads, and then remember this too. If you don't plan to drive the truck, like I'm going to tell you what my cut, I may have told you, but I'm going to tell you because I don't want you to blow up the hot spot. There's a hot spot in the Northeast area that has some really, really, really good loads. And my cousin, he don't have none of his trucks in Maryland. His trucks is somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So, and he never drove a box truck before either. He started off with a driver just like I did. And so your truck necessarily don't even have to be where you're at in your location. A lot of people think that because I'm in Atlanta, my trucks have to be in Atlanta. I could put a truck in Houston. I could put a truck in Cali. I could put a truck anywhere. My system shows you how to put a truck anywhere. What's up, Brits Brat? How you doing? Yeah, my um, trucking sister there, Brits Brat. <laughs> You've been hearing from my son, Daniel. Daniel, it doesn't ring a bell, but I speak to a lot of people. Oh, she's I'll be hearing from my son, Daniel. Okay, cool. That's cool. She said, how do I get funding on a new business? That's a good question either. I don't really deal with the funding aspect of it. Um, 
because like I said, if you got like five thousand dollars, it can get you up and running um, in the in the logistics um, industry. And someone said, where do you go to get dispatchers? Join my Facebook uh, group if you're looking for dispatchers. Or you can learn how to dispatch yourself. Or contact Brits Brats. I don't think Brits Brats do um, 26. I don't think she messes with 26-foot box trucks. But it's easy to find a dispatcher. But you definitely want to find a good dispatcher. And you also, like I said, you can grab at my dispatching course and show you how to dispatch yourself, too. So it's up to you if you, got, if you get multiple trucks. But it's not hard. I got a Facebook private group called Box Truck Shorties Box Heads. I think I got like 9,000 um, members in there. Um, it's people in there that's looking for dispatches. It's people that's looking for leasing on. Um, so it's a, it's a good networking tool. It's a good group that is not all that negativity that you see in the Amazon Relay group. But all they do is talk shit about Amazon all day. 60,000 people and 50,000 people in the group. And all they do is talk shit and laugh all day. Ain't nobody getting money in the group. Everybody laughing. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy to me. How do you get in contact with me? Go to boxtruckshorty.com. Or if you're on my Instagram, of course you're on my Instagram, you can click the link in my bio. So I'm going to recap it for you guys. Right now, I got a flash sale going on. My three um, guides right now, the Ultimate Bundle Pack is on sale for $249. Flash sale till Saturday. Then I also have my um, Master Class, which is normally $1250. And it comes with the Ultimate Bundle Pack Guide. That is also on a flash sale for $9.99, and that's June 10th will be the first class of that. We're going to cover everything you need to know. The people that join that class will also be able to lease on. I'm going to find you a carry that you can lease on and do Amazon Relay for the first 180 days. Um, and what else I got? I got, oh, I got my dispatching guide on sale right now, flash sale for $99. And if you also need to Book a consultation with me. I charge $99 for 30 minutes and $149 for an hour. Um, it's the best. I ain't never let, had a person left out of the consultation feeling like it was a waste of money. Sometimes people spend, you know, $99 just to ask me a couple questions. And they like, man, thank you. You just saved me money on my rental. You saved me money on my insurance. So stop thinking that you don't want to spend a little bit of money to get some good information, if that makes sense. Thank you. So thank you. for Thank you, bro. Somebody said, thank you for spreading, spreading the, the love, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you. Listen, you can book a consultation to speak to him. Yep, book a consultation to speak to me. That's the easiest and quickest way um, to speak to me. And like I said, if you started this company, I saw a lot of you guys when I asked you, did y'all want to start this company? And y'all just kind of hesitant. Stop being hesitant. I can guarantee you, if you get the right mentor, the right person, you'll be successful in this industry. Trucking been around before I was born. Trucking's going to be around until we all gone from here. Nothing's going to stop about trucking. So 180 days should not stop you from starting your business. Think about it. If you got a job and you don't like it in 180 days, what you going to be doing in six months? It's going to be Christmas time. You're going to be getting a little bit of vacation off, but it's okay to have a nine to five. I'm not against nine to five. Like I said, I did 16 years at my corporate job. However, you always got to have an extra strand. Just like I tell, made a post, fire them before they fire you. Get you a hustle, get you a side job. I'm showing people how who don't want to drive a truck, how to get into the industry and make money without physically driving a truck. And I'm going to say it again. Check my page today. I posted in the last two months, I made $197,000 gross with box trucks that I don't own. Who else in the industry can do that? Who else in the industry can show you that? Nobody's done that. You can't get this information for free online. You can't go to... Nobody can get this information because nobody has done this, what I've done. Everybody has either owned a truck, bought a truck, had one or two trucks, or they like a big company. But nobody has done what I have done. So with that being said, you can't get this information for free. You can't, can't pay a cheaper price and find it because nobody has it. How to structure the insurance when insuring other drivers. Cool, Brizzle. Um, you just got to add, the, you just got to find you a good driver to add it to your um, insurance. You want to get somebody that's not, don't have no tickets or nothing like that. But like I said, I have a broker that can help you, you know what I'm saying, get on and get you some good insurance. Someone said, how the rates? The rates have been pretty decent with Amazon. Really. It's pretty steady. And we about to go into June. When June comes, we're going to have Amazon Prime Day too. So it's going to thing. Someone said, because they don't know how to get my boy in, in, in finest, because they don't know how to get money and they hate us. Yeah, a lot of people are haters, man. A lot of people are doubt you and you can show them the world and they still won't believe you. You know what I'm saying? Someone said, what company do you use for rental? Uh, Rider and Enterprise. 
But I'm going to answer a couple more questions, then I'm going to get off at Someone says, how much does it cost to start? It costs me $3,200, $3,300. But I tell people $5,000 because if you have a bad driving record or you got a ticket or whatever, then they might ask you for first and last, um, you know what I'm saying, insurance deposit. But normally I tell people $5,000. It shouldn't cost you more than $5,000 unless you, got, like I said, got a bad driver record. What about leasing versus rent? I answered that question a little bit earlier. Leasing, most companies, they're going to want you to be in business for two years in order to lease on with them. But um, if, if, you, if you can find somebody to lease on, then let's, let, I would definitely jump on a lease. Someone said, let's go live. I'll give you an interview. That's what's up. Hit me up. I, I don't have a problem with that. I'll do lives. Someone said, how much truck your truck grows a week? It's hard to say. Once again, you got to look at the uh, um, what I posted today. In the month of March, I had five trucks running for 30 days. I made $125,000 because I had five trucks running. Also, I was doing a couple dat low boards. The month of April was a little slow. I had two trucks in the shop, and then one driver went on vacation for like two weeks. So I, went, I didn't run five trucks the whole month, and I grew 72000 with three to four trucks. So in two months, I made $197,000 gross. So it's kind of hard to say. Like you can grow 600 with a truck. You can grow seven, eight, nine, 12. It just depends on how many loads you do in a day and how hard you grind it. And if you know how to find good loads. So all right, I'm going to explain this last question and then I'm going to go. Two last questions and then I'm going to go. Someone said, can you explain the six months required for Amazon? So Amazon requires you now to have 180 days authority, which means you have to have your MC, DOC number, and you have to have insurance on that truck for uh, 180 days. But in 180 days, you can also do the dat low board. You can lease on to somebody, or I can show you a hack where you don't have to pay as much and you can just pay about mm, five or $600 a month if you can afford it. And that'll keep your authority active for six months um, if you don't want to touch the truck and you don't want to do uh, the dat low board, if that makes sense. Someone said, how long is the master class? The master class is about four to five hours, and it's June 10th on sale right now, flash sale, $9.99. Pay $500 to reserve it, and then you can pay the other $500. If you already bought one of my, my bundle pack guide, I will give you guys a, another discount. I'll let you guys in for $750 um, because you already got the guide. But you got to show that we got the guide, and I'll let you in, and then um, we can we can go from there. But I'm going to let y'all guys go because I got to go meet my driver, my trainer. I mean, I train on my uh, mentee that's in town, um, that came in town to do his training. Okay. So as my slogan say, guys, I hope to see you guys at the top. Stop procrastinating. If you start now, you'll be, you know, up and running by, um, you know what I'm saying, by peak season. And if you join my master class that's coming up on June 10th, get the stuff ball rolling. I'll let you lease on to one of, one of um, some people that I know I can get, get you leased on to. So... Stay up, bro. Y'all take care. All right.